What's up guys, welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. All right guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about airborne school and why it sucks so bad. I hate airborne school. Listen, there's a difference between airborne school and free fall school, all right? Free fall school. But we're going to talk about that in a minute, and I'm going to tell you all the things that suck about airborne school and why it's terrible, but it's something that you have to do. So what could you do to make it a little bit better? I'll give you my tips on that in a minute. But first, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. If you guys want to be fit enough and get selected the first time, make sure you go check out Kevin over 18 Alpha Fitness. Tell him Buck sent you. As a matter of fact, use code word Buck and you'll get a discount. It's the fitness training that I use and I love it. The kettlebell program is top notch. So go check out Kevin. He's a former Green Beret. Uh, so he knows what you guys need to get selected. Also, if you want to meet myself and the team and you want to go to selection and you need all the answers, we're going to give you all the answers to the test. June 4th in Houston, we're holding a seminar. Uh, spots are filling up quick, so go get your ticket and we'll see you there. There's going to be a ton of swag, ton of free giveaways. Black Rifle sent some coffee. Uh, we got Crimson Trey sent him some stuff. Uh, we got an optic to give away. It's going to be all kinds of cool stuff for you guys. And we're going to drop as much knowledge on you in a small period of time as possible. You guys are going to leave there completely fulfilled, I promise. So go check that out and make sure we see you there. Uh, and real quick, you can get those at shop.thefngacademy.com. You can get your tickets now. All right, guys, if this video gives you anything, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and a bell notification. Let's try to get 1,000 likes on this video. I appreciate you guys. So why does airborne school suck so bad? So you got to understand first that there's a difference between airborne school and free fall school. So airborne school uh, is, we call it static line. And the reason we call it static line is because when you, you jump out of the plane, you're holding your reserve parachute with your hands covering it to make sure that nothing tags it and pulls it, uh, which will be attached to your chest. As you jump out of the plane, you are just falling to the ground and you're connected to a line that's uh, connected to the plane. So as that static line extends, it pulls your parachute out and that's how you deploy your parachute. So it's called static line uh, airborne. Static line, we just call it static line. So that's why we call it static line. And the reason that that uh, type of jumping sucks so bad. So all the time you see the movies when they're all just sitting there floating to the ground and you know huge masses, uh, that's static line. So they do that in because you can get a lot of people out um, and they don't have to have a ton of free fall training because free fall is a hard school to get uh, and it can only get a small amount of people through at a time. So it's you can't have the whole airborne unit uh, free fall qualified. They have a solution to that now that they've been working on. Um, and I know some people are using it to where it's a static line, but it pulls out a parachute that's a free fall parachute. So that way you could actually stop and control your flight. Um, I know they were implementing that when I left, so I'm sure that's a lot more in use now. But for what I'm talking about is still what they're using, still the same parachute I'm sure they're using, airborne school. And that's just where you fall straight down like a sack of potatoes. And you see those guys doing this. So yes, you can turn your parachute, but you have no flare. Uh, because of the way your parachute's shaped, you have no flare, so you can't control uh, how hard you hit the ground. You're just falling, and depending on what that air is doing is how hard you're gonna hit the ground. So if you have like a, a hot uh, air pocket, you could be just floating, not even going down. You're just sitting there, you're like, fuck, staring at the ground, like wondering. All your people are just dropping, and you're just sitting there floating in the air. I've been there a couple times. Sometimes you'll lose an air pocket right before the ground, and you just slam like a sack of potatoes, and this shit hurts so bad. Um, and then a lot of people get injured, and all of a sudden you'll be landing, and all of a sudden you'll hear the scream. And you guys know what I'm talking about? It's the scream, that one where you know that dude is in some serious pain and he definitely broke some shit. That just fucking blood curdling <laughs> scream. You're like, damn, that sucks, man. Probably broke an ankle, a knee, shin, whatever. Um, so been there, seen that happen a bunch too. 
Actually, one of my worst injuries was in free fall though. Completely zero loom and we had no knots. So I couldn't see where the ground was coming from. Uh, so I didn't know when to flare, which is crazy because even the slightest bit of a loom uh, from the moon, you'll be able to see the ground from that point on. I never had any issue, but I could not see the ground. So I did a half flare, which still means I'm coming in super hot. Um, and then I scorpioned and almost broke my back. It was fucking miserable. I didn't get up for like 10 minutes uh, until someone landed next to me. And then the adrenaline from almost getting landed on, got my ass up off the ground and I moved out. But that being said, you're, you're going to learn how to PLF. It's called parachute landing fall. And that's the best they could do. And honestly, the PLF is funny because it's the, it's the answer to landing like a sack of potatoes, but the answer is a bunch of bullshit. Uh, but it's the best they could do. So the PLF landing fall is you're going to bend your knees uh, up and then you're going to twist your ankles uh, toward away from where the your, the ground is coming so that way you could you know kind of fall a little more gracefully and hopefully not uh, break your legs so but that being said you have to have airborne school in order to go free fall so and you have to have airborne school to get to go SF Ranger any of it you're gonna go to airborne school and unfortunately after you pass the school you're gonna have to keep jumping to maintain your status in order to be airborne uh, you know, up to date on your airborne status, which is a pain in the ass and to keep getting paid. So uh, jumping is just going to be part of your life. So you might as well get used to it. Uh, unless I'm saying the best answer is to go free fall and then to stay proficient, you only have to do free fall jumps. You no longer have to do static line jumps. So that's like the ominous dominus. You're free from fucking static line jumping. Uh, if you just go free fall and you maintain all your free fall jumps and stay current as free fall. That's the best answer. Best case scenario. But for like Rangers, uh, well, no, they can go free fall too. So just do your best. But understand that you're, you're not going to be like, watch this video and be like, yep, all right, that's what I'm doing. I'm going, I'm going, uh, I'm going free fall. That's it. Well, trust me, it's a little harder than that because free fall is a small school. They only allow, allow a bit, think like 50 students at a time. And those 50 students have Air Force guys in it, the CCTs, they have uh, MARSOC guys in there, and they have uh, Army green berets so they can't get that many people through because it takes one instructor per one student as they're falling he, he stays right with you so they can't have like one instructor per 10 guys floating through the air so it's really really hard to get a free fall spot uh, sometimes in the Q course it's top 10 percent as to where other times they tried to do free fall for all which is means everyone in class is going but that really bogs down the school so they go back and forth on when they're doing that and when they're not Hopefully your class gets free fall for all, but if not, do your best to be top 10%. That's what I did. Uh, so you can get free fall qualified right out of the gate. But all of you are going to have to go to airborne school. So let's talk about some things to help you feel better in airborne school, at least mentally. So here's the trick that I use. So I always imagine as I'm falling to the ground, at first they'll tell you, don't look at the ground. And they're fucking right. You look at that ground coming. I don't care how zen you fucking are, your body's going to tense up and it's going to hurt a lot worse. So don't look at the ground. Let the impact be uh, a surprise. But think about it like um, how alcoholics and drunks always seem to survive car accidents, right? I try to take that same approach. So as I'm falling, I try to think I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, and I'm about to get in a car accident. So I try to relax my body as much as possible, breathe, and I try just staring at the horizon and doing a zen, like fucking relaxed stage. And then you just slam into the ground. And then if nothing's broken, you get up, you say, oh, thank God. And you move on with your life and you jog your ass back to go dump off your parachute and every, you know, you're happy as fuck because you didn't break anything. So the best thing you do, stare at the horizon and do your best, bend your knees, twist your, your ankles the right way to do your PLF, parachute landing fall. <sighs> Breathe and try to relax all your muscles. I'm telling you, get in that state. Think about being a drunk in a car accident. Don't drink and drive. But think about being drunk. Don't drink a parachute landing fall either. And that is what I did and it helps a lot. Uh, for a while in airborne school, they were issuing knee or ankle braces uh, to support your ankles. I don't think they're doing that anymore. I, you don't want that. It's a pain in the ass because you got to put them on. They hurt like a bitch while you're sitting there waiting to jump and you'll be waiting for hours. So I, I don't recommend putting on the ankle braces. As a matter of fact, I don't even think that they do them anymore. The best thing you do is tie your, your boots nice and tight. So get some boots for airborne school that have a lot of ankle support and tie them things as tight as you can up your ankles uh, and still keep circulation in your feet. 
That'll give you as much ankle support as you can uh, so your ankles don't twist if you get some uneven terrain when you land because you're not landing on perfectly smooth surfaces. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, sometimes they release and where they release you, you only have enough like guide to get certain distance away from where they released you. Sometimes the wind's really strong and they you'll be the tail end of that release for the end of the landing zone and you're going over streets and you'll be floating over cars and shit. I promise you, someone's gonna be doing that. They're gonna be at the tail end, they're gonna be like, jump master's gonna try to get them out and that guy's gonna catch wind and he's not even gonna be on near the landing zone. So there'll be tree guys, people landing in trees, all that shit. So they'll teach you how to climb down from a tree if you get stuck in a tree. Uh, but that's all part of static line uh, airborne is your land where they where that jump master says go your ass is going and if he's not a good jump master or if he's really trying to squeeze out as many packs as possible you could be landing in trees you could be landing on concrete streets asphalt streets all that has happened for so the best thing you could do is wear good boots lace them up tight on your ankles breathe relax and pretend like you're drunk and just try to float and like do your plf but don't stare at the ground and relax as much as you can. If you could learn to drunk fall and just allow your body to slam, it sounds counterintuitive and it is, but I never got hurt in static line. And then go get free fall as best you can. All right, guys. So that is my kind of two cents on why airborne school sucks so fucking bad. And yes, there's a lot of lineage and 82nd and 101st, like I don't even think 101st jumps, uh, 173rd. All, you know, there's tons of lineage from Air, uh, Airborne, and it's great, and it's an awesome school to pass. You get your blood wings. It's a proud moment. But as anyone will tell you that has to be Airborne qualified, jumping static line sucks ass. So now you guys know. You get through the school. Do your best to get free fall as soon as you can. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you at all, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Let's get 1,000 likes and jump over. Jump. Jump over to shop.fngacademy.com, pick up some swag. We got some new shirts on the way. Uh, we're starting to print our own stuff. So we'll have plenty of new designs coming soon. And sign up for the uh, mentorship program. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have plenty of stuff for you guys. It'll be so much, it'll be such a good experience. And we hope that you guys walk away with a ton of knowledge and a ton of information and a ton of confidence. We'll see you guys there. What's up guys, Sean Buck Rogers here from the FNG Academy. You ever find yourself balls deep in a workout and you're just not feeling it? Can't get that one more rep in, can't get that extra mile, sluggish, feeling like crap. You ever think that because you look like shit and perform like shit, maybe we need to get you into the right gear. Let's check out some FNG Academy gear and what it does for people and their performance. What the f is that? That's what I'm talking about. What the f is this? That's more like it. No rep. No rep. <laughs> what the f No rep. What a waste. One, two, three. Now that's what the f I'm talking about. All right, guys, now you see the difference between when you look good and when you look like shit. So make sure you head over to the FNGacademy.com and pick yourself up some swag. Make sure you sign up for the email list because we're doing monthly giveaways. Ready? Uh.